this is Courtney and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this little nail varnish bottle. And right, so you will need two colours, black for the lid and whatever colour you want your nail polish to be. So right, let's get started. You can use any loom as we are setting it in the V or staggered configuration here. And whatever type of hook and any brand of bands you want. So right, let's get started. Uh, first of all, take one band. This will be the one that is this band here. And just put that on the first band. So there, just put that there and just leave it hanging. So don't put connect to any other thing. Then now take two bands. Right, so I'm going to be double banding unless I tell you guys otherwise. So you put it from first to second. Second to third, third to fourth, and fourth to fifth, and then that will be the lid, the nail varnish bottle. Now, here comes the part where you need to choose whatever colour you want your nail varnish on this one i have done dark pink but you guys i'm going to leave this here so you guys can see but i'm going to choose a purple but it is entirely up to you guys which you choose so then we go from this middle peg here out to the right then we do the same but to the left Then we need to go and then we'll go straight down the middle. Now we need to go the three more times down each side. So oh, one, two, three. And then here we go again. We will go, and we're still double banding here. And we go one, two, and three. Now we do the same on the other side. Add an extra three. One, two, and three. Now take another two bands. And go from the right to the middle and then do the same on the other side so we'll go from the left to the middle then we're going to take one two more bands well we need three but we're going to take two at the minute I'm going to take the first one and do a triangle here and then we're going to do a triangle here then we're going to take this other band last one we're going to wrap it around this peg here three times one two three now we're going to turn our loom around and we're going to start hooking so first we go in through this cap band, sometimes I like to put it out of the way by putting it across two pegs, but that's only if you have quite high quality loom bands, sorry about that, that started a bit. Then we grab this band, first two bands, if you've done it like me we go to your right, 
back to the right, connect it over. Oh, don't worry if you've just done what I've done, just dropped both the bands, it's fine, just go into the trap band. Grab them, well, grab one at a time, I would recommend. Pull it over, and then do the same for that one, just go in through the cap band. Grab it, and then go over. Then grab the next two bands, which will go this way. For some reason, I'm grabbing one at a time because my legs just my hook is not picking them both up, but that's fine, you can do that if you guys want to. Then, we just do like a triple single all the way to the top, and then when you get to these, just pull them in. I don't know why, but for some reason, I like to start doing the middle, so then I can just go straight the way up. I'm going to go to the next column, triple single again, grab this band here, pull it inwards, and go in here, grab this one here, put it inwards. And you got to make sure you're going inside of these triangular bands. Don't go, make sure you're not going on the outside. Make sure you are going inside, pulling it back and pulling it through, and then pulling the pencil through it. Because otherwise, it won't come out of this. It will fall apart. Then, when we put all our lines there, we got to go right through this one and get the black ones. So we a lot of tension on these bands. Mm -hmm. Can't see them. Then be careful because there's going to be a lot of tension there. But then just carry on doing it like a single chain. Oh, I just dropped on the sign. Oh, I just pinch it and pick them back up. And then carry on. So then we've done it. Now we come back to the single band that we have just placed, it's laying there, and we go into this side to pinch that bit there, go in, pick it up, put it on your hook, the other side up, pull it outwards, outwards, and then create a slip knot like that, and then you are now ready to take it off your loom. You can use your hook, sometimes it stops in like high tension places like that from bands snapping, but you should be, as soon as this one's off, you should be able to yank it straight off. I choose not to sometimes because I just find it easier. But, so that no bands are breaking, but some people may not, some people might want to, and, but that is up to them. And but I just think it would be horrible if you had done all this work, loved it, and then as she pulled it off a band would snap. Layer. Now straight off the loom, it looks like that. But we really want it to look like that. So easily what we do is we just give it a little tug. If you don't like the way the band sits here, just pinch it. But it's straight over that. Like that. And then you pull out the bottom, pull out the bottom, stretch, pinch it there, pinch it there. I don't like the way that that one sits, so I just bring that over like that and then layer. Same as this one, just like here. And then you just pinch it, stretch it to whatever shape you like. And there you are, you've done it. If you don't like the way this one is sitting, just go into a random spot in your um, creation and then just pull it through. I rather like it, so I'm going to leave it how it is. But that is how you do it. So now there you are, you have your creation. So, 
please subscribe, give me a big thumbs up if you like it, and see you again soon. Bye.